What is creatinine and how does it measure your kidney health? Every single day, your kidneys filter about 50 gallons of blood. Yet one simple number on your lab report. Your creatinine can quietly reveal whether those filters are still working or slowly failing. Most people don't even notice when the warning signs begin. They exercise. They drink more water. They avoid salt and processed foods. But still, their lab results keep showing high creatinine. Why does that happen? They're doing everything they've been told. They've cut back on meat. They take their vitamins. They even stay hydrated all day long. Yet, somehow, that number on the test keeps climbing higher. Here's the twist. Most people never hear about creatinine isn't just about what you eat or how much water you drink. It's deeply tied to your muscles, your medications, even the timing of your last meal. One small factor can quietly change the whole picture. Think of it like a kitchen sink. When the drain works, water flows out easily. But if the drain clogs, even a small trickle will start to rise. And that's exactly what happens inside your body when creatinine builds up. If you ignore that rise, the damage can move faster than you think. Elevated creatinine is often the first red flag before your kidneys lose up to 80% of their function long before you ever feel pain or swelling. So today, we're cutting through the confusion. No myths, no guesswork, just real science and real answers about what creatinine truly means for your kidneys. Let's begin by understanding where creatinine actually comes from and why that matters more than most people realize. Every day, your body creates creatinine naturally. It's not something you eat or drink, it's a normal waste product that comes from your own muscles. Understanding where it comes from helps you see why this tiny number on your blood test matters so much for your kidneys. When your muscles move, repair, or even rest, your body breaks down old muscle cells and builds new ones. During that process, a compound called creatine is used to supply energy. When creatine finishes its job, it turns into creatinine, a leftover that needs to be cleared out of your bloodstream. That's where your kidneys come in. They act like fine filters, removing creatinine from the blood and sending it out through your urine. But if your kidneys slow down, even a little, that creatinine starts to build up. Imagine a sink where the drain is partly clogged. The water still flows, but slower and slower over time. The same thing happens inside your body. That slow buildup in your blood is one of the first clues doctors use to spot declining kidney function. The good news is that creatinine itself isn't harmful. It's simply a marker. The concern comes when it stays elevated over time. People who push their muscles too hard, use bodybuilding supplements, or eat large amounts of red meat right before a test, may see temporary spikes that don't reflect true kidney damage. Still, if high numbers persist, it's a clear sign your kidneys may need more attention. If you're getting ready for a lab test, keep it simple. Stay hydrated. Avoid heavy workouts and large meat meals the day before. And let your doctor know about any supplements you take. That helps ensure your results show what's really happening, not just a short-term fluctuation. So next time you see creatinine on your report, remember it's your muscles and your kidneys working together a constant cycle of energy and cleansing. When that balance shifts, it tells us something important. I'm Dr. Matthias from Kidney Health 365. If you find this helpful, tap the like button and subscribe for more clear, science-backed kidney advice. Now that you know where creatinine comes from, let's move one step deeper and see why it's so important and how it helps doctors measure the true strength of your kidneys. When it comes to kidney health, Few numbers are more important than your creatinine level. This tiny value on your blood test can reveal how well your kidneys are working long before you ever feel a single symptom. Understanding it gives you the power to catch kidney problems early and protect your health before damage becomes permanent. Creatinine acts as a window into your kidneys. It's produced in your muscles and carried through your bloodstream, where your kidneys filter it out and release it in your urine. The more efficiently your kidneys work, the better they clear creatinine from your blood. But if the filtering slows down, even slightly, creatinine starts to build up. That rise tells doctors your kidneys are struggling to keep up. Think of it like your car's oil gauge. 
When the oil builds up with dirt and can't circulate properly, the warning light flashes. Creatinine works the same way it's your body's built-in signal that something may be wrong inside your filters. Still, creatinine isn't a perfect measurement. Many factors like age, gender, muscle mass, and even hydration can affect your results. A fit, muscular man may have a higher creatinine level naturally, while a smaller, older woman might have a lower one even if her kidneys are under stress. That's why doctors never rely on creatinine alone. They combine it with other markers, like your EGFR, to see the full picture. If you're watching your kidney numbers, don't panic over one high reading. Instead, focus on trends over time. Keep up with your lab tests, drink enough water, and tell your doctor about any supplements or medications you take. Those small habits help ensure your results reflect your true kidney health. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever checked your creatinine level before? If you haven't, comment zero. If you have, comment one. It helps others see they're not alone in this journey. So now that we know what creatinine is and why it matters, let's talk about the number everyone asks about what's considered normal. For most healthy adults, a typical creatinine range is between 0.6 and 1.3 milligrams per deciliter of blood. But that number isn't set in stone. It can shift slightly depending on your age, gender, body size, and muscle mass. A strong, muscular man may have a level around 1.2 or even a little higher, while an older woman with less muscle might fall closer to 0, 0.7 or 0 0.8 and still be perfectly healthy. The key is not to focus on one single reading. Instead, doctors look at patterns over time. If your creatinine stays stable, that's a good sign your kidneys are filtering properly. But if it's slowly rising from one test to the next, even within the normal range, that could be an early sign of stress on your kidneys. Other temporary factors can also shift your results. If you've been dehydrated, recently had a big meal rich in red meat, or took certain medications, your creatinine might spike for a short time. Once those factors pass and your body rehydrates, it often returns to baseline. That's why doctors often repeat the test before drawing any conclusions. What really matters is the relationship between your creatinine and your EGFR, your estimated glomerular filtration rate. That number translates your creatinine level into a clearer picture of how well your kidneys are actually filtering waste from your blood. So when you read your next lab report, don't get lost in the decimals. One number alone doesn't define your kidney health. It's the trend, the context, and how it connects to your EGFR that truly tells the story. In the next part, we'll explore the many things that can make your creatinine rise or fall from muscle mass to medications to everyday habits and how understanding them can help you keep your kidneys strong for years to come. Now, here's something important to understand. Creatinine isn't a perfect measurement. It's one of the best tools we have to estimate how well your kidneys are filtering. But several factors can make your results appear higher or lower than they really are. Let's start with muscle mass. Because creatinine comes from the breakdown of muscle tissue, people with more muscle naturally produce more creatinine. That means a young, athletic person or someone who lifts weights may have a higher reading even if their kidneys are completely healthy. On the other hand, someone who is older, frail, or has lost muscle from illness might show a lower number, even when their kidneys aren't working as well. Medications can also play a role. Certain drugs may temporarily raise your creatinine without actually harming your kidneys. They change how creatinine is processed in your body, which is why it's so important for your doctor to review your test results in the context of your current medications. Diet is another key factor. Eating a very large portion of red meat or taking creatine supplements for muscle growth can make your creatinine spike temporarily. That's because the creatine you consume gets converted into creatinine once inside your body. If you've ever had a big steak dinner the night before your blood test, you might see a higher result the next morning, even though your kidneys are fine. Hydration also matters. When your body doesn't have enough fluids, maybe after a hot day, an illness, or diarrhea, your blood becomes more concentrated and creatinine levels can appear higher. Once you rehydrate, those numbers often drop back to normal. All of these factors show why one single test can't tell the whole story. That's why your doctor will look at your creatinine over time, 
Compare it with your EGFR and consider your age, body type, and health history before making any decisions. In the next section, we'll take this a step further and talk about how your creatinine connects directly to your EGFR and why that combination gives the clearest picture of your kidney function. When your doctor looks at your blood test, they don't just stop at your creatinine number. They also calculate something called the EGFR, or Estimated Glomerular Filtration Rate. This is one of the most important tools doctors use to understand how well your kidneys are actually filtering waste from your blood. Here's how it works. The EGFR uses your creatinine level, along with your age, sex, and sometimes race, to estimate how efficiently your kidneys are cleaning your blood every minute. A higher EGFR means your kidneys are doing their job well. A lower EGFR means the filters inside your kidneys are slowing down. For example, most healthy adults have an EGFR of about 90 or higher. When it starts to fall below 60, that's usually a sign your kidneys are under some strain. And if it drops below 30, it often means more serious kidney damage that needs close medical attention. But remember, these numbers must always be interpreted. In context, one reading doesn't define your health. Think of it like checking both the speed and the fuel gauge on your car. Creatinine tells you how much waste is in your system, while EGFR tells you how fast your kidneys are clearing it out. Together, they paint a clearer picture of how well your filters are really working. This combination also helps doctors track kidney changes over time. Even a small rise in creatinine or a steady drop in EGFR can be an early sign of stress on your kidneys, long before symptoms like swelling or fatigue appear. That's why routine testing and trend monitoring are so valuable. So the next time you get your lab results, look at both numbers side by side. Creatinine shows what's building up, and EGFR shows how well your body is clearing it away. Up next, we'll look at what can cause those numbers to change suddenly. The habits, foods, and medications that might make your creatinine spike or your EGFR fall, and what you can do to protect your kidneys before problems develop. Before you draw any conclusions from your lab results, it's important to understand this creatinine and EGFR are helpful, but they don't tell the whole story by themselves. A single test can't define how healthy or unhealthy your kidneys are. It's the overall pattern and how those numbers change over time that truly matter. If your creatinine level comes back a little high, don't panic. There are many temporary reasons for that dehydration, recent exercise, certain medications, or even a big protein-heavy meal. These can all make your numbers look worse than they really are. The best step is to stay hydrated, avoid heavy exercise before your next test, and follow up with your doctor for repeat labs. On the other hand, if your creatinine keeps rising over several tests, that's when your doctor may order more detailed evaluations. They might check your urine for protein, review your medications, and assess your blood pressure and blood sugar. These tests help find out whether your kidneys are under strain or whether something else is affecting your results. And remember, supplements can sometimes interfere too. Products that claim to boost muscle, or increase energy, often contain creatine, which can artificially raise your creatinine reading. Always let your doctor know about any supplements you're taking, even the natural ones. For anyone already living with diabetes, high blood pressure, or heart disease, pay close attention to your kidney numbers. These conditions are closely linked to kidney function and early detection makes a big difference in long-term health. Most of all, never adjust your medication or start a new supplement based on your lab results without talking to your healthcare provider first. Your kidneys are delicate, and small changes in treatment should always be guided by a professional. Now that you know how to interpret your numbers safely, let's bring everything together. In the next section, We'll review the key takeaways and practical steps you can use every day to protect your kidneys and keep your creatinine in a healthy range for years to come. We've covered a lot today. And now you can see why understanding creatinine is so important. It's more than just a number on your lab test. It's one of the earliest clues to how well your kidneys are working. You learned what creatinine is, how it's formed in your muscles, 
what normal levels look like, the many factors that can change your results, and how it connects with your EGFR to give a clearer picture of kidney health. Here's the truth, kidney problems often develop quietly. You might feel fine for years while damage slowly builds up. By the time symptoms like swelling or fatigue appear, kidney function may already be reduced. That's why paying attention to your creatinine and EGFR now, not later, can make a real difference. The good news is, you have control. Simple habits like staying hydrated, eating a balanced diet low in processed foods, managing blood pressure and blood sugar, and keeping up with regular checkups can protect your kidneys for years to come. Every small change adds up. If you haven't checked your kidney function recently, ask your doctor about a basic metabolic panel at your next visit. Write down your creatinine and EGFR results and track how they change over time. The earlier you act, the easier it is to protect your kidneys and stay healthy. Remember, everything shared here is for educational purposes only. It's not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always talk to your healthcare provider before making major changes to your diet, medications, or supplements. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to Kidney Health 365 and turn on the notification bell so you never miss new updates. And if you'd like to learn more about how to naturally support healthy creatinine levels, check out the next video on simple daily habits that keep your kidneys strong. Thank you for watching. And take care of your kidneys. They take care of you every single day.